Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I wanted to talk about uh, The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live Season 2. Which, yes, that probably, as of right now, doesn't really make a lot of sense. But now that the show is actually over, or at least uh, the, the six episodes of The Ones Who Live are over, Denai Guerrera and uh, Scott Gimple actually answered uh, the question of, is there going to be more? Because obviously... We saw the ending. The ending seemed very conclusive. They reunited with Judith and RJ, and the story seemed to be over. The CRM is gone. Well, I mean, the CRM is not gone. It's just Beale is gone and sort of, you know, I guess what they were doing. You know, it's been sort of fixed and all of that. So, like, that's sort of dealt with. So, I kind of felt like, okay, this is, a, this is an overall conclusion to the story. So, can there be a season two? And it actually seems like there's a chance here. So, I do want to talk about this and give my thoughts on sort of what they're saying here because this is just... It's very, very interesting. So obviously, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk into content like this. After this video, I will be posting a video on the Daryl Dixon uh, sneak peek. There's going to be a teaser trailer or something shown. So yeah, I'll talk about that. And then, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot to talk about over the next week. I mean, Daryl Dixon is going to be premiering in the summer. I'm assuming August, but it could be June or July. And uh, tomorrow's April, so... You know, we're pretty close to that. Um, there's obviously updates all the time on things, you know, Walking Dead. So definitely uh, that's just going to be something that we're always going to be talking about now. And based off of this right here, it actually seems like there is a chance here that this is also going to be something that we are going to be talking about right here. And so I'll start off with this. So there's actually three articles that I do want to get into here. And uh, this one right here is from TV Line. And in TV Line, obviously, the question here that was asked, and they actually asked Gimple here, is there a chance that we could get a season two? And basically, the, the quote here in the article, and again, I'll leave a link down below to all three articles, but basically what Gimple says is, uh, Gimple has to chuckle when asked about the prospects for any season two. Then sticks pretty close to the answer he gave in February at the TCA Winter Press Tour. It was a wild ride to make the ones who live, he notes. It was like six years of a lot of hoping and pivoting and working, and then when all was said and done, it didn't eventuate the way I thought it would, it eventuated so much better. So when it comes to telling more of the Rashon story, that's possible, he says. So again, after we just watched six episodes, and this is my thing about the, the whole thing of a season two, if this was complete and it was just six episodes, they said it was a limited series and that was just it, why not say it now? You know, the argument beforehand was, well, you know, just watch this first. Watch the six episodes, like, literally just watch that first, and then we'll see from there, right? We've watched all six now, so why not just say, no, it's only six? It's just like, okay, it's, there seems to be a possibility here. And then, so now let's go to the article here from Deadline here, and Deadline also asked the question here, and but this time it's not with Scott Gimple, it's actually with Denai Guerrera. And, uh, yeah, Deadline asks, uh, the last time ends with Rick and Michonne having saved Portland from annihilation, having overthrown the tyranny of the CRM, and having at last reunited with their children, RJ and Judith. On many levels, it is a complete ending to their saga, but, and then Guerrero says, there's a but, and then Deadline says, there's a but, but this is why they call it show business and not show family. And Ones Who Live has been a pretty big hit for AMC, a strong arm of the Walking Dead universe. So, will there be a season two? And Denai Guerrero laughs. Well, as you know, there can be no response to such a question. <laughs> And then actually it continues on here, and Deadline is just like, really? And Denai Guerrero here says, uh, you know, my job is to constantly misdirect you, but I can tell you it was a beautiful thing to film, and it was just so glorious to watch. Anthony with Andy, he was usually a bit more reserved, but there was something about them meeting as it was the same for RJ meeting Rick. He is this looming powerful character that has been a presence around him, but never there, you know? And so just seeing them connect and seeing how, how much that RJ, Anthony... Uh, lit up. They just had a, such an amazing uh, rapport. Uh, it was it was really special. So again, so she doesn't really confirm that this is only going to be one season. You know, when asked about season two, she's like, you know, I can't really answer that. So to me, what that tells me right there is this is probably contract stuff. I feel like that's a big part of it here. I think Denai Guerrera, Andrew Lincoln, and everyone were like, because like if this was just one season, I feel like they would just say it, right? If this was actually it, they would probably just say it. And again, they're still not in a place where this is going to be completely confirmed. Like, this is just actually, uh, or we're going to get a second season. But it seems like it's very possible. And I wonder if it is just contract stuff. It's a lot of stuff like that that you have to work out, right? And so, in this article here from comicbook.com, and this is with Denai Guerrero as well, 
Uh, the question here, basically, you know, it's sort of the same thing here. It was basically like, you know, was this always planned to be six episodes or is there going to be a season two? And Danai Guerrero says, you know, I'm not going to answer that, which is funny because she says that in like every response to that question. But yeah, she says, you know, I'm not going to answer that. But yeah, definitely. I feel uh, great about how this has gone. I'm so thankful for how the audiences and the fans have responded. I feel like it feels really special how people have taken the story and seem to have really had a good time with it. So there is a lot of thankfulness about that, and that's where we are right now. And I, I, that's again, I think they're really focusing on that part to it right there, is just how much, I guess, the fan response has been truly amazing. I mean, I think the finale here was definitely very mixed. But again, I think that's one of the things that if you do do a season two, like, what are the criticisms here for the finale? Like, what's the criticisms here? For me personally, the criticisms are the episode was rushed, and it feels like you wasted the CRM arc, right? So for them, if they're like, all right, well, if we're going to do a season two, what was the criticisms of that? Obviously, on everything else, we sort of delivered, but those were the two main things there, is that people felt like we really rushed the story in the final episode, and that the CRM arc obviously was underwhelming for a lot of people. So are there ways we can fix that, and what can we do with the story and all that, right? So in terms of the CRM arc, maybe they could involve that in the story more, but I think that in terms of the, the you know, rushing the story and stuff, yeah, they could definitely fix that, and maybe they just add two more episodes or something like that, I have no idea, but that is definitely, you know, like, you can actually fix that there, but, and this is also what I found very interesting here, so Denai responds to sort of the same thing and just, like, you know, talks about the, you know, the positive reception from the audience and all that, and she says, I mean, we have to take some time once six airs, I think we think about it, but I think from this perspective now, I think it really is about two things we really wanted to do is we wanted to create cliffhangers. We wanted to misdirect you because that's satisfying. You know what I mean? So the fact that everyone thought he'd, uh, Michonne will only find him later in the series, and then it's in the end of the pilot, she found him. Just things like that. We definitely want to keep ahead of the audience and we know our audience. So that I found very, very interesting because that is sort of, I think, the reason why they're not talking about a season two right now is they actually want to keep this very quiet and announce it when they want to announce it. They want to surprise us. They want to shock us. That seems to be their approach. Like with Daryl Dixon and Dead City, that's not really their approach. But with this show, that seems to be their approach. They're just like, you know what, we want to shock you, the audience, and we want to, you know, we want you to think that this is going to happen, but then all of a sudden this happens. And has that happened here? Oh yeah, that has happened here. Like the entirety of The Ones Who Live has been that way. Like, we thought it was going this way in one episode, and it went this way. Like, definitely, you know, I know that the spoilers came out and stuff like that. And I really tried to not talk about it too much in terms of all, you know, the spoilers that were, like, leaking and stuff. But uh, definitely very unfortunate that that actually happened. But overall, I think for the majority of people, for most people, you know, it, the, the episodes didn't really get ruined. That was more of a thing for, like, episodes one, I think, and maybe episode two. So it, it was it was pretty early on anyways. But I think they pretty much, yeah, I, I think they did really good with that. But talking about a season two, though, you know, they're all responding like, well, you know, I can't answer that. And they're being very cryptic about a season two, right? Uh, comicbook.com asks here. So speaking of those characters that have a legacy, hypothetically, if this were the last time we ever saw Rick and why wait, Michelle, why does it say Michelle? Rick and Michonne and the family is together. What do you think they do from here or want to have happen from here? And her response is interesting because remember, if we do get a season two, she's going to be a part of the creative process of making that right. So this is her response. Well, I think they are aware that they have to find the balance of home, but also the balance of the responsibility to think larger than themselves. I think even the connection that they've had now with the city that the CRM was working with, that's an alliance. A connection that they have a responsibility to now, quite honestly, because they destroyed the army. Uh, those are people, those are good people who are doing good things. So I think they have, having seen what bad can be done with power, I think it is their responsibility to figure out uh, the opposite beyond themselves, beyond their family, because that's who they are. So a hint here that I'm reading into this is that I think if there were to do a season two, it's not going to be just Rick, Michonne, Judith, and RJ just all happy living at the Commonwealth or wherever they're living, Alexandria, right? It seems like they, they do understand that they have a bigger responsibility and that they have done some pretty amazing things here and that they actually do need to help people out still and still do those things, right? So that's probably going to be the next focus here. So it looks like some of the CRM stuff would still be a part of a season two. It is just going to be different because they're going to be more the heroes and maybe there's some bad stuff that comes up. I think that's where, you know, Mason Beal, Major General Beal's son could come up. 
Um, I think they could do a lot of fun stuff there. But again, so, you know, all of this talk about a season two, you know, and obviously all day today, it seemed like it was just not going to happen. It really seemed like it was just like, okay, there is no way that this can actually happen because it just didn't seem possible in my opinion. Like it just kind of seemed like everything was over. It just really felt like all of this was just kind of going to be done. But I was waiting for these responses. It's exactly like I, I said that this morning. I was like, it seems like it right now, but I want to wait to see what they say after the episode airs on cable. And all the responses now are basically, they can't answer that. So the chances of a season two right now seem very high. Definitely seem very high. Because of the fact that there's still a lot of you know storylines with other characters and more that they can do, I think there's a good chance that we do actually get that. I do. So I'm trying to think of when could we hear this announcement? When could we hear more about this, right? Because as of right now, it seems possible. It's not an absolute no. It's basically, they're not officially renewing it right now. It's very possible. So we're going to be wondering now for a while. And I said this before. I don't know if you guys remember, but I've been saying this for a while. This was my biggest fear about everything here was that we were going to get all of this here. And that was going to be the place that we were in. And now we're going to be talking about this for months and months and months. Like, is there going to be a season two? Are we going to update at Comic-Con? And then all of a sudden we don't get an update. And it's like, oh, maybe this event, we're going to get an update, right? Like, I, now we're in that place where it's just going to be questions about, what about a season two? What about a season two? And I wonder if that's intentional. I really do. Because that does build up hype. That builds up anticipation and a lot of people talking about stuff, right? And obviously, with where season one ended, you can make season two... Like, you could do it right if you do focus on what Denai was saying, you know, in terms of them having a responsibility to sort of help out other communities. And I guess in that sense, like, they would still be a part of the CRM. They left to go back home. But they're still a part of the CRM. They are still going to help out people there. And in that way, that can still, you know, really like affect the story overall. There could still be a lot of cool stuff that they're able to do there because you're, you're able to come up with a lot of stuff, right? So that's, I found that interesting. I really like seeing this quote now. And I'm going to keep looking around to see if there's more quotes and all of that. But it really does feel like at this point that there's a really, really good chance that there's going to be a season two. And we're just in the place now where we just have to wait. We're going to have to wait a while. I doubt it's going to be six years. I don't think we're going to be waiting six years or like five and a half, five and a half, six years or whatever. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot sooner than that, obviously. But uh, I don't expect an update anytime soon. If anything, it's probably going to be at Comic-Con. That's sort of my prediction as of now. So obviously now we're just going to have to talk about where they can go with the story here. And that's going to be the focus overall. But next up is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon season two so uh yeah i'm excited for that so post all your thoughts down below hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.